Welcome into the Jones Center here in Springdale, Arkansas. My name is EJ Sanders. Alongside me is Richmond Sanders. And on the camera tonight is Quinn Shields. We're here for a rematch, rematch of last night's game between the Arkansas Razorbacks, who are at home here in the Jones Center, and the Oklahoma Sooners. The Sooners took last night's game 3-2 uh, to two after going down two goals entering the third period. Uh, they stormed back early in the period to tie the game up and finally got the go-ahead goal late in the period to seal the game. Arkansas fought back hard there at the end of the game and tried to set the tone for game two here, but they just couldn't quite get a goal on the board. Good chances right in front were spoiled by the goaltender, and Arkansas will have to come into tonight to fight for this win. We'll stand now for the national anthem. All right, we're here at the Jones Center in Springdale, Arkansas. It's a dreary 60 degrees outside. It's been kind of a, a gray day out there as Arkansas, uh, as Arkansas laces on the helmets. They've laced up their boots, and they're getting ready to go. Starting lineups have been announced. Brock Thompson will be the goaltender of record for Arkansas tonight. Meanwhile, on the other end, Tyler Huberty from Honeybrook, Pennsylvania, the 1-3 record on the season of 5.72 goals against average and a .818 save percentage so he gets the starting goal for OU what are the some of the things you're looking for tonight out of Arkansas well this is there's just one key in this game Oklahoma's line score in two games against Arkansas is no goals in the first period no goals in the second period eight goals in the third period this all sets up for the third period Arkansas has got to get a lead and then they've got to show up uh, a lot better than they did last night anyway uh, to withstand any third per period pressure that Oklahoma may present Center ice faceoff going to be taken here by Corey Delisle. And we're about to get underway. The referee with his arm high in the air. And we are off. Faceoff one back by the Sooners. Delisle's going to take this one away. He'll work it into the zone, but it's sh uh, shuttled to the boards there by OU. Arkansas forechecking hard here to start this game. Arkansas on the back check now will steal this puck away. Near side boards comes OU. The Sooners looking to work it into the zone. They'll slap one on net. It's steered aside into the corner there by Thompson. Near side boards again. A big hit laid on there by the OU player. A broken up pass as Arkansas is just looking to break out. Errant pass here stolen away by Beam. But clearing the zone there was the Arkansas player. Back it down into the Arkansas zone. They're going to pick it up here, try to work it out of the zone. They're on a change right now. Arkansas going to finally fire it up the ice, looking for Gratisar's stick. He'll go for a change. Near side boards is Young. Young lays one off. Pellegrino tried to sauce one across, but couldn't find his man on the back post. Was looking for Sholin. High into the air now. Gets gloved down there by DeGuire, but stolen away here by Del Casale. He fires a quick shot save there by Thompson. Early work for Thompson and Arkansas having trouble on their breakout. Well, that came up because of a, uh, an E6 there on the fielding play uh, by the defenseman. A puck that should have been caught laid out in front of him and start back the other way. Instead, he uh, muffs it. Oklahoma picks it up and gets the first shot of the game. Faceoff will come to the left of Thompson. Just over a minute gone in this game. Be taken here by Stovall and D'Souza. It's tied up there and one back by Arkansas. It's flipped out of the zone here by Arkansas. Salmon just tries to play it ahead, but it's picked off quickly there by D'Souza and worked back into the zone. A shot on net there. Picked up by DeGuire behind the net. He blows a tire. 
Far side boards, though. Salmon picks it up. Another weak pass stolen away by OU. Got to have to put a little bit more mustard on him there. It's a minute and a half gone in this period. DeGuire picks it up behind his own net. He's going to stand there. OU setting up for a neutral zone trap as Arkansas fires it ahead, tipped into the zone there. But they're going to say he never got any wood on it. That was Haddock. I think Haddock hit his stick on the ice to make it sound like he had tipped the puck into the zone. But the refs were not fooled on that one. Evidently not tipped. Arkansas will uh, address another faceoff back at its own end, left of the goaltender. Stovall to take it. He's got De La Guardia on the ice with him, along with Salmon. Quick shot there by OU is fired well high and wide of the net. Chopped along here near side by Haddock. Comes down the ice. Ulan's going to pick it up. They wave off the icing. Salmon forechecking on him. Gets worked slowly behind the net for Lazaric. Lazaric's going to pick it up there for OU. He'll try to get it out of the zone, but and he will. And it slows up unnaturally near the Arkansas bench. Looked like there might have been some ice buildup over there. But Foster retreats and gets the puck out of there for Arkansas. Just over two minutes gone here in this first period. Salmon tries to play one off looking for Young, and he gets played back behind the boards. Picked up here by Thompson. Thompson's going to leave it there. He's got Foster. Foster to work it out of the zone. He's across his own faceoff circle. Tries to work it out, and it's kept in there by Pard. Pard, the left-handed stick, fires a shot into his own man. Shepard picks it up, tries to work it back for Pard. Pard can't hold on to it, and Foster comes away with it. This time he'll get it out of the zone. It's gloved down here by OU. Arkansas picks off that pass, and they'll knock it down. No. Stopped at the blue line there as the Sooners are going to work it back the other way. Beam with it. Beam with the puck. On his backhand right now. Going to leave it there for his defenseman. Trying to work it out of the zone are the Sooners, and they do get it up the wing. Far side, now near side. They're going to work it back to the far side. That's Pard, and Pard takes a hit as he goes offside. Looked like Beam got in a little bit early, and Arkansas will have a faceoff just outside their zone. 17.07 to go in this first period. Face off one back here by Arkansas. They're going to hold on to the puck there. It's going to be worked across. The DDD pass is stolen away here by the game winner, the guy who scored the game winner last night. That's Luke White. Down into the corner. Del Casale trying to pick that one up. Arkansas going to shove one off the boards. Westbrook high into the air. Arkansas gloves it down. Centering pass just misses the stick of Wilson. No icing. They're going to wave it off. D'Souza getting chased down in the corner there by Wilson. Now Westbrook, far side, finds Lazaric back behind the net for Westbrook. Drew Westbrook near side to Souza. D'Souza trying to work it out of the zone. It hits the stick of his man, pops up into the air, stolen away quickly there by Owens, and he'll fire it down just off to the side of the goal, but it's paddled down there by the goaltender. Big hit late on in the corner by Arkansas. Near side boards. White trying to break out. And he's got a one-on-one -on -one the other way. Fires a shot well wide of the net. Looked like it was tipped down by De La Guardia. Arkansas trying to work it out of the zone. Coming away with it there momentarily was the OU player, but Arkansas is going to backhand one along. They'll settle it down and work it into the neutral zone. Brown giving chase now. He's on the four check. Looking at McKinnis. McKinnis plays a D-to-D pass. It's fired a caddy corner to the near side. Arkansas trying to work it into the zone. They finally do. Brown actually loses that into the skates of the linesman, who finally gets out of the way. But McKinnis comes away for, with the puck for OU. OU having a tough time making crisp passes right now as Arkansas steals another pass away. They're trying to hold the blue line in the neutral zone now. The puck is loose there. Comes down, trickling into the Arkansas zone, and they're going to blow this one dead for an offside. 15.39 to go in the first period, and I'll catch my breath here. Four minutes of... Uh feeling out period here. These two teams know each other pretty well, though. Uh, Arkansas uh, needs to get those goals early. Uh, and then, like I said, they'll have to hang on late. Uh, and definitely don't want Oklahoma to get the first goal here. Face off just outside the zone. 15.39 to go. An afternoon game, late afternoon game for Arkansas. And OU, OU. It's a couple hour bus trip home from here to Norman. The referee addressing something with one of the defensemen there. Looks like it was Foster. Might have been John a little bit there. Lazaric dumps it into the zone after the one faceoff by OU. They dominated in that category last night. Arkansas near side boards looking to work it out. Haddock passes one across, finds Stovall's stick finally after hitting Salmon. Arkansas was not offside on that one. Down low, Westbrook tries to shuttle it along, but instead it's picked up there by Haddock. Trying to parry it back to the point. 
Arkansas trying to not get beat back, and they will. The other way is O'Day. O'Day loses control of the puck, and he takes a huge hit from Sean Foster. Goes sliding back first into the boards. Quick shot on the turnaround there. Rebound comes out front. Nice job by Haddock, sheltering his man from the puck. And he'll work one up the far side boards. Salmon's just going for a change there. As he was the intended target on that pass. Down low, takes a weird bounce off the boards, but a nice job playing that one by Brock Thompson. Arkansas with a spin move, and they'll send one high off the boards into the netting. And we'll have another defensive zone faceoff for the Hogs. First test uh, by the goalie, three of them so far. Three good saves, and then the test by the defense, which is an area that they uh, had to clean up. They did not clean up the area in front of the net on a couple of occasions last night. Oklahoma was able to stick the puck in behind the goaltender. Face off one back by OU. OU holding it at the point. A quick shot from the high circle. Picked up by OU. Centering pass back to the point. Al McKinnis fires a shot through traffic, but it's blocked down there. Looked like Foskey got a piece of that one. And Sholin's going to come away with the puck. Foskey in some pain is going to come off the ice here. Holding that left arm. Arkansas going to work it into the zone. Just avoiding that big hit there with Pellegrino. He'll give chase behind the net. McKinnis centering pass out front. Looking for his man, it's gonna be left there for Young. Young at the point has Owens who fires it through traffic, but wide of the net, Sholin gonna fish it out there. Back to the point, nice job just playing it back down low, dumping it into the zone was Deguire, and OU is gonna break out. Near side, White tips it into the zone. OU's gonna go get a change. They wave off the icing, 13.56 to play in this second, first period of play, I should say. Getting a little ahead of myself as DeGuire just chips one back along, finds his man far side, banked hard off the far side boards there by Owens, but it's put back into the zone here by OU. OU gonna hold the blue line only momentarily as Westbrook will have to retreat. That puck bounced over his stick near side, now Lazaric plays it up, skated ahead here, and with a head of steam is Shepard. DeGuire comes off the puck in order to make that hit and get his man away from the puck. Near side, kicked away there by Pard. Arkansas going to lay a hit on three Arkansas players over there, and it's finally knocked ahead there. Near side, now it's two on two the other way. Pard with the puck. He's going to fire a shot well wide of the net. Streaking in was Beam. He's going to have to fish it out of the sideboards. But De La Guardia comes away with it. De La Guardia with a head of steam. Arkansas goes for a change, and so will De La Guardia as he dumps it into the zone. Coming out of the net to play it there is going to be Huberty. Huberty leaves it there. Arkansas forechecking pretty hard here as McKinnis comes away with the puck behind his own cage. Far side boards. OU to work it out. OU, far side. Nice little hit there by Gratisar, and cleaning up there was Foster. Near side now, Young just going to play it softly off the boards. It's stolen away there in front. Ulan passes, shot off the shaft of the stick and into the netting. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good, and it looked like it caught the shaft of the stick of, of Thompson there. Thompson's positioning was good on that play, though. Again, Oklahoma getting in free. One man on the goalie. That's not good odds for the goalie. And Arkansas fortunate to be up uh, or still in this game. Four shots by Oklahoma, none for the Razorbacks. Foster comes away with the puck, tries to bank one off the boards. He's pinning his man against the boards now, coming away with it. It's going to be the OU player. He's going to work one along. That's Gaddy. Didn't dress last night, but is dressed tonight. Far side boards, played ahead, held into the zone there, only momentarily as Arkansas works it ahead to themselves. They're going to try to pass one off looking for Brown's stick. But Arkansas will retreat. Brown, a centering pass, broken up. Far side, Paiute Morrison making a play on him. Morrison getting checked along the boards. Both number 19s over there. Del Casale, Morrison near side, now to Foster. Foster fires a shot from well out. Looked like it was going to go a little wider than that. Near side now. As Westbrook picks that one up, Banks pass off the backboards. OU is going to work it ahead to the neutral zone. Arkansas whiffing on that clearance attempt, and now Stovall will have to fish it out of the corner. It's going to be Foskey. Foskey, a hard pass off the boards. Has Gratisar streaking. He gets control of the puck and fires a quick shot into the glove of the ready Huberty. There's the first Arkansas shot, and that's the guy you want taking him. He had a, he had a bunch of shots last night. I'd say he probably had almost... Uh, at least a fourth of Arkansas shots last night. That's Gratisar. Foster on his. I like his slap shot. And he put it in a good place, and he put it sh on the short side of the net. Uh, but an easy uh, glove by the Oklahoma goalie, Huberty. 
Face off, one back here by OU, giving chase in the corner there, Salmon, but it gets worked across to Ulan on the far side boards for OU. The Sooners looking to break into the zone, and they got one on the backhand here. That's Ray Wilson. Wilson gets checked off the puck. Near side, Arkansas going to have to pin their man along the boards. Ulan fighting for it in the corner along with Foskey and Stovall. Arkansas tries to work it out of the zone. McKinnis, a nice D to D pass. Fires a quick shot there. Looked like he got tipped wide of the net. Maybe a little, little bit of a kick save there by the goaltender, Thompson. Centering pass goes well wide of everybody through the center of the ice. Coming out to paddle that one along is going to be Huberty. Chipped into the zone. 11.02 to go in this first period. Fo Sorry, Foskey comes away with it. He's got Pellegrino who backhands one high into the air. Onside on the far side was Salmon. Salmon centering pass. Actually, he took a shot on that. A little wheeling shot. Tough angle. Easy save there for the goaltender. Looked to surprise his man there, but... Huberty was right on top of it, the junior goaltender. Pellegrino with a very deft, uh, high, 10-foot floating pass across ice and uh, put Arkansas in a position at least to uh, get the puck down to the Oklahoma end. Face off one back by OU yet again. Played off the boards by Lazaric near side. Arkansas checking on him, flipped high into the air, down the ice, hits the red line, and bounces into the Arkansas zone where Foster will handle it. Cross-ice pass was attempted there by Stovall. He'll get knocked to his backside. Pard comes away with it. Stovall, or sorry, Sholin picks it up quickly. Quick shot there. Sorry, pass down. And Arkansas steals this one away. Looking to work it out of the zone is Young. Young hits one hard off the boards. Pellegrino giving chase. Finally coming away with it is Westbrook. And now Bean makes a nifty between the legs pass, and Arkansas can't hold the blue line. Looked like if Foster would have looked down, that puck actually checked up there but instead played it back to his own zone. Arkansas turns it over again as the Sooners try to work one into the offensive zone. That's Pard, cross-ice pass, finds a man, quick shot, kick, save. Pard with the puck again. Pard had Beam on the back post there. He's also got Kraminga out there on the ice with him as Foster getting physical now here in this first period of play, 9.52 to go. Quick shot, tip just wide of the net. Clearing him out there was Morrison. It's laid along, Pard with a little bit of time down there in the corner, but Young is going to apply some pressure. A little bit, bit of a miscommunication by the Arkansas players. They finally get back in position, back to the point. Far side point now, picked up there by Giamana. Giamana, quick shot down low by Kraminga. Pass from McKinnis on that, and Foster is laying the body on here early as he parries that one along. Sholin just trying to clear the zone to get it some sort of break for Arkansas. Arkansas probably won't be, will not be able to change if they ice it, but that's better than nothing right now. Still on the ice is Pellegrino. Pellegrino out there with Morrison, laid along, looking for Young. Young going to try to shovel one along, and it does clear the zone just barely. OU's going to have to check up. Arkansas needs to be careful here on the change. Far side boards, Madsen going to play it there. Hits it off the skate of the OU defender. The four checker coming in now and knocking DeGuire into the boards. Pass back to the point. Played there, back to Lazaric. Lazaric tries to load one up, but loses control of the puck. Pass in the centering pass goes just wide of everybody. Through everybody now. OU picks it up. Wide open down low below the goal line. Sticked away there by Thompson. A nice heady play to see that one from below the goal line. And Arkansas goes offside here. So we'll have a faceoff outside the OU zone with eight and a half to play in this first period. Two best chances by Oklahoma so far have been by Aaron Kraminga. And the unusual thing about Kraminga, he's the only player listed as a hometown in Oklahoma. He's an Oklahoma City product. And he's had two good challenges on the net on Thompson. OU is going to win this faceoff back. They'll pick it up here. OU looking to break out of the zone near side boards, taken here into the zone by Young. Arkansas, though, steals that one away, knocks it back to the neutral zone, having to check up the offside there. Lazard does a nice job of holding it out of the zone just long enough. To, gets a quick shot off for Thompson. Thompson makes the easy save. Near side boards again, taken here by Wilson. Wilson tries to lay one weakly to the point, has Westbrook, a pass across the point there. Gets tipped down into the corner now off of another pass attempt that was broken up by the Arkansas player. Near side boards. Now in the near side corner, Oklahoma likes to cycle it down there. They'll fire a quick shot. And boy, Thompson wouldn't have gotten a glove on that if that was on goal. Nice tip in front, but De La Guardia has it now for Arkansas. He'll send one along near side boards. Westbrook can't hold on to it. And now Arkansas is Delisle with it. He stick handles through a couple of guys, a weak pass across. Having to load up a quick shot there is Gratisar, and it's skated down in front by White. Owens going to come away with this puck as 
Oklahoma tries to counterattack. White steals it away on the forecheck. White with the puck. Stick handles in front. Tried to make a move to the backhand. But with 7.25 to play in this first period, Arkansas clears the zone yet again. All the action on this end of the ice. Arkansas trying to work it out of the zone. Tipped again. Near side boards. D'Souza fires a quick shot in front. Foskey tries to stick handle. Stolen away. White fires a shot and he scores. And breaking his stick on the net there is Jesse Foskey as he's frustrated with himself for making that errant pass in front. 7.08 to go in the first. Again, a loose puck right in front of the net. An easy goal for White, last night's hero with the game winner. And Oklahoma goes up here at the 12.52 mark of the first period. A couple of things went wrong there. Thompson was moving over to make a save on the far side as it was a pass attempt by White. Got deflected up into the air and Thompson well out of position at that point. So goal by White, assist by White as he was trying to pass off the puck. Yep. They'll get that goal unassisted. Arkansas works it back the other way quickly though. Offensive zone, they try to backhand one along and it's batted back out into the neutral zone. Neutral zone, Shepard, a diving attempt there by Morrison. It's played out of the zone there by Foster and two OU players get crossed up with each other. That's Giamana and Beam. Beam's going to work it ahead for himself. Arkansas going to try to check him off the puck. That's not an easy task, but Sholin does come away with it finally. Sholin's got Giamana on him. He'll send one down into the zone. Looks like he's got Cazado down there. Cazado's pass back up to Sholin. Sholin's centering pass with nobody home as OU works it out of the zone. A one on two for Beam. Beam work, makes a move past the man and goes sliding into Brock Thompson on that one. 6.24 to go in this first period. Arkansas has not been down against Oklahoma this year so early. They've got a lot of time to regroup. Did not want to give up that first goal, but as we pointed out, that's a, uh, it was just a uh, tough luck goal. Uh, there was some coverage back there, and the coverage didn't work out in Arkansas's favor as uh, Luke White gets on the board for the Sooners. And we'll have a face-off face outside the Arkansas defensive zone. Face-off, one back here by Arkansas. Near side, Wilson trying to dig it out of there for Arkansas now as D'Souza plays one back along. White with a head of steam into the zone. White, the goal scorer tonight. There's a quick shot there by Lazaric at the point. Foskey with a new stick. Going to bounce one off the boards here. Trying to clear the zone. Arkansas with it. On their own end, they're going to fire one well ahead all the way down the ice. No icing. Madsen was cherry picking on that one, and Madsen takes a huge hit into the boards. Madsen a little slow getting up, and he's going to have to skate to the bench. Westbrook on the far side now for OU. Westbrook makes a move. He's got the puck right below the goal line. Arkansas trying to come away with it, and the puck went underneath the goal. Oklahoma wanted it to count, but I do believe it uh, somehow the goals, which don't stay on there real well, got lifted up and the puck went from the outside in through the uh, through the bottom. Strange case there, does not count. It's got to enter the uh, four by six space in front. And OU is going to get it back. It. Yeah. OU quick shot off the faceoff. Puck high into the air and Foskey saves the goal this time. Nice job by Jesse Foskey recovering. And a quick shot there, kicked aside there by Thompson. Far near side boards, I should say, as Owens tries to work one along weakly near side. Delisle trying to dig it out of there. Still trying to find the puck. Arkansas finally chips it along, and they got Gratisar breaking away. Gratisar loads up a shot, fires it well wide to the net. McKinnis will pick it up there. Arkansas on the four check. Nice move there by OU, and they just missed a tripping call on that one. Luckily for Arkansas, Beam got upended by the stick of Morrison. OU will regroup behind their own cage. 4.56 to go in the first period, a one goal lead for the Sooners. Sooners wearing their gray uniforms again tonight, worked well for them last night. Arkansas just dumps it back down into the zone. Picking it up there is gonna be McKinnis. McKinnis with it. He's loading it up behind the net. McKinnis standing still, D to D pass, finds Giamana. Giamana far side, centering pass all the way up. Nobody on him, Beam with it, laying down to block the passing lane was Morrison. Now to the near side below the goal line. Nice play by Morrison to break up that whole rush. Morrison going prone on that one. Near side now Young. Young's just gonna bat it back down into the zone and the Sooners are at it again. It's gotta be exhausting for this Arkansas defense as they'll just send one up into the netting. 
4.13 to go in this first period of play, and all of the action has been on the Arkansas end of the ice. Oklahoma ready to take this one back home to the Sooner State. They've uh, brought this game to the Razorbacks here in the first period, and last night they had outplayed Arkansas in the first period but didn't come away with any credit for a goal. Face off, going to be one back here by Arkansas, De La Guardia. In the corner, getting checked on there by White. De La Guardia flips it back up into the netting. Oklahoma leading the face-off battle again, uh, as they did most of last night. I think there was one period where uh, Arkansas was able to stay close. Uh, it's 9-5 to five so far here in the first period. Face-off will be to the right of Thompson. Thompson hunched over. Right-handed stick, left-handed glove. Be on his stick side where this face off is taken. Arkansas would have won that one, but as soon as the fires a quick shot off the face mask, good positioning back out top. Lazark fires a shot through the traffic. Lazark's going to get it back, plays it back to the point. Westbrook fires another one through traffic, through everybody, but past the goal. Salmon's going to pick it up. He's going to look for Haddock on down the ice, and they're going to blow it dead for icing. James Haddock not happy with that call. As he believes he was nearer to the puck, but it's kind of an optical illusion from over here. Didn't look like he was closer, even though he was the first one to it. 3.48 to go in this first period. Oklahoma now out shooting Arkansas 12-2 as Thompson facing a barrage of shots here late in the period. Face off one back by OU, back at the point. Stovall's going to take this one up. He's got a man ahead. That's Salmon. Salmon has a man back post. That's Haddock, and he scores. What a pass by Chris Salmon. And Haddock didn't have to do much but redirect that one into the back of the net. We've got a 1-1 game. What a beautiful pass. Slid it right across the ice. I think anybody with a stick on the ice, not to take anything away from the goal scorer, he's got to know his geometry and put that one past the goalie. But the pass was just uh, incredible. And Arkansas, just like that, has evened this game at 1-1. One 3.39 to, one, to go in the first period. A little bit of emotion out of that coaching staff as they'll slap Salmon on the head for that pass. Absolutely phenomenal. Worked that one through two defenders. And Arkansas ties this game up here in the first period. This one worked back into the zone. The team that has scored first this year has lost both games. It just happened to be Arkansas. Tonight it was OU. We'll see if that holds true as D'Souza will have it behind his own net. First period, 3.20 to go. Arkansas just tied this game up. If you're just joining us. As the puck is in the neutral zone now, Gratisar looking to take it away. Gratisar skating ahead. The ref's really letting him play tonight. They'll play it down low. Lazar is going to pick it up there. And he'll send one back behind the net. A nice crisp pass there, near side. Banks one along, finds his man, far side. Centering pass gets O'Day. O'Day is going to make work here on Foskey. Foskey has a nice poke check, though, and knocks his man into the boards. Nice job by Jesse Foskey cleaning up. Going to be Cal Owens. He tries to work one ahead, but just misses the stick of Colin Young. They're going to blow. <laughs> they're going to say this is not icing here. Must have been playable there by OU. 2.36 to go in the first period. Played ahead, dipped down into the zone there by Sholin. That one hit an Arkansas stick. As Arkansas tries to work one near side boards, Pellegrino just flips one into the air. We've seen him do that a couple of times as Young takes it away. Young's got Sholin behind him. Young, the centering pass. No, he's going to send one to the point. A quick shot, blocked down. Having to rush back for it here is Stans. Stans with the puck. Stans works it along, fires a shot wide of the net. Went right across the goal mouth, and Pellegrino blows the tire going into the boards. Ulan picks it up, back behind the net, finds his man Giamana. Giamana to work it out of the zone with two minutes to go in the first period. Ulan, a backhanded pass, finds White's stick in front. White leaves one there, has the right-handed stick. This is going to be Wilson. Wilson, a centering pass, has his man out front. Wilson loads up a shot, blocked down by Pellegrino, and he's in some pain. He's going to go to the bench. Just circling back around to Sholin. Sholin whiffs on the pass there, and he's going to fire a shot and score. Two turnovers for Arkansas result in two goals for LSU as Del Casale knocks that one into the back of the net. Two unassisted goals for the Sooners. Two to one here with 1.38 to go in the first period. Arkansas was just starting to look like it was uh, getting uh, 
getting its engine revving. And uh, suddenly, Oklahoma's right back out in front. Both of their goals have been super sudden. Arkansas, the first one looked like Oklahoma really deserved it. They had been working hard on the four check all game. On this one, Sholin, he had all the ice in the world up here in the neutral zone, decided to turn back and then tried to make a play off the boards and just whiffed on it. The puck got up on an edge. Next thing you know, Del Casale had control of it and fired it uh, uh, under the glove of the goaltender Thompson. So OU with a two to one lead here late in this first period of play. Arkansas trying to steal this away. That's uh, Stovall. But Parr doing a great job controlling the puck. Beam's gonna play it into the zone. Waiting on that one with Shepard. Shepard's gonna check on Morrison. Morrison whiffs on the pass. Shepard digs it out of there. It's down in the corner still. Shepard with so much speed. One of the fastest players I've seen on the ice in a while. Shepard with it, fires it back to the point, has Giamana. Giamana tries to load one up. Nice stick handling, fires it through the traffic. What a save by Thompson. Tough to see with just over a minute left in this period. Two on two going back the other way. This is going to be Salmon again. Salmon made a pass earlier, tries to work past a man. He gets the puck in the center again. As Brown comes away with it, another backhanded chance. And oh, Haddock goes falling to the ice. He's sprawled out. He's going to get back to his feet as OU gets it out of the zone. Shepard with a head of steam. He's got sticks all over him now as Beam comes away with it for OU. Beam with that soft touch tries to work past Owens. And it's going to come back behind the net. 34 seconds to go in the first period. Foskey lays one weakly off the boards. Delisle tried to find Gratisar on the far side. They couldn't do it. Dumped back in by OU. It's going to be Foskey here. Foskey settles the puck down. And he'll leave it here. It's going to be Owens. Owens trying to work it up to the near side. Has Gratisar. Gratisar somehow works past the man. Gets knocked to his feet. And a quick shot there. Looked like it was by Brown. Goes up into the netting. It'll be an offensive zone faceoff with 10 seconds left in this period. If Arkansas can get a late one here, it could certainly turn the momentum going into the locker room. It's going to be Delisle. One back, though, by Westbrook. I'm sorry, by uh, D'Souza, and Westbrook holds onto it, tries to clear the zone, and does. Comes all the way down. There will be no icing here as it's not going to clear that red line. And time will expire in this first period of play. Arkansas is down 2-1, to one, entering the first intermission. A good period, uh, especially for Oklahoma. The Sooners owned every uh, statistical category there was, maybe not the hits, uh, but they uh, outshot Arkansas by... I've got 14 to four and I'm only 20% error on that according to the official stats. So I would say you could uh, safely uh, go with the fact that Oklahoma had more shots. They won the faceoffs. Uh, the Sooners uh, lead on the scoreboard two to one after one. Well, we'll go here into the first intermission. Arkansas will be down two to one entering the second period of play.
Welcome back to the Jones Center here in Springdale, Arkansas, where the Arkansas Razorbacks gave up a late first period goal to go down two to one. Arkansas answered back quickly though after Oklahoma scored the opening goal of the game. Luke White uh, picked off a pass from uh, Jesse Foskey in front and uh, was trying to make a pass to the back post and ended up getting tipped over the goaltender's head into the net. Arkansas responded pretty quickly after a laser pass by Chris Salmon hit the stick of, uh, of Haddock and Haddock put that one right in the back of the net to tie this game. James Haddock, the captain, got his fourth goal of the season on that one. But then late in the period, Del Casale uh, took one away from, picked the pocket of uh, Tobias Sholin, who was also trying to clear the puck in his own zone and ended up scoring on that one unassisted. So two unassisted goals by OU enter this second period now as Arkansas looks to rebound. They won the second period last night as well as the first period. As Arkansas works one to the far side boards, that's going to be Delisle. Delisle works one into the zone. Westbrook fakes a pass to the right, ends up taking it behind the net where Gratisar meets him. Beam backhands one along, finds Shepard. Shepard decides to just play that one off for Pard. Pard gets it poked away there by Owens. Down low, the Sooners with the puck. Arkansas on the back check there. That was Foskey. Slams his man into the board, but turning away with it is the OU player. Now back to the point, Giamana. Giamana sends a pass all the way across and nobody on the far side point, but Lazaric somehow saves it from exiting the zone. This one will not be saved by Giamana. He'll have to dump one in. Arkansas sends it all the way down the ice though, and there'll be an icing blown dead here. OU will get a quick change with just under a minute played in this first or second period. On a football Saturday and the uh, football games are not uh... They're awfully exciting for one of these schools. Oklahoma and Oklahoma State tied at 38 at halftime. Arkansas losing to Coastal Carolina, a team which got uh, taken to the house by in-state non-rival Arkansas State here a few weeks ago. Oh, you quick shot there. Blocked down, rebounds out front. Thompson can't get to it. Arkansas tried to send it out of the zone, but it hit Gratisar's skates. Gratisar, near side boards, looking to get the puck. He's got a one-on-one -on -one the other way. Gratisar slows up, sends a pass cross ice, finds Delisle. Delisle just dumps one into the zone and Brown goes for a change. Going to be Gratisar, got a four check here on McKinnis. McKinnis a spin move, going to try to poke it out of the zone for Del Casale. Arkansas holds the blue line. Haddock sends one in front. Gratisar gets met by four OU players. Quick shot from the point, tipped down in front, but a nice save by Huberty. Arkansas regroups in the neutral zone. The action has mostly been on this end of the ice all game, no matter which team has been the offender. Near side. Arkansas trying to cross ice pass there from Stovall. Gets played back to DeGuire. Tipped into the zone there by Young. Giving chase. It's going to be Salmon. Salmon over to Stovall. Stovall gets knocked off the puck there. Stovall back to the point. Finds DeGuire. Fires it through traffic. What a glove save. Man. I don't know how he saw that one, but Huberty got his glove on it. Makes the save. And Arkansas will have an offensive zone faceoff with just over two minutes gone. Huberty definitely did see it. He got his glove out there to uh, stop a possible uh, goal that might have snuck in through the post area. Arkansas with two shots this period, already half as many as they, the Razorbacks had in the first period. Face off one. This is Pellegrino in front, but a nice block shot there by O'Day. Jeff O'Day, the Lake Orion, Michigan native, hasn't scored yet this season. He's had a couple of chances this weekend but stops Pellegrino's shot in its tracks as it goes trickling up into the net, high into the net, that surrounds this Jones Center ice. Arkansas wins it back again, Pellegrino. Couldn't get a stick on it quick enough as Foster just dumps it into the zone. Arkansas checks up the offside. Lazarek's gonna keep it behind his own net. He'll stick handle it there. Goes forehand, backhand, now forehand. Now he goes back and forth as he sends one way ahead. Nice job by Ulan stopping that one, but he's on his backhand. Centering pass out front. Arkansas clears it to the side boards. Good back check by Colin Young, and it's flipped up into the air on the backhand. Lazar gets knocked off of that puck. No icing here. Westbrook to pick it up. Westbrook with the puck behind his own net. Pellegrino forechecking on him. Arkansas with another man back behind the net. That's going to be Sholin making a huge hit there in the offensive zone. But the other way comes Pard. Pard gets hip checked into the board by Foskey. Arkansas turning up the physicality here in the second period. Foskey on his backhand looking to get it out of the zone and does. Far side boards. Gratisar giving chase. Near side. They're going to blow it dead. Or sorry, they didn't blow it dead. Instead, they're going to say that the offside or the icing was null. Near side boards. That's Foskey. 
Back to Foskey, he's gonna hold on to it, sends a cross ice pass, has a man, and the centering pass was whiffed on there, looked like by Delisle. Now Gratisar near side boards, on his backhand, just flips one up into the air. It's on goal, and it's gonna be gloved down and smothered by Huberty. I see sometimes to be, kind of seems to be like a flip of the coin on that last one. Gratisar was racing to the goal line down on this uh, half of the ice. He was the farthest person from the puck, but because he was closest to the goal line, they waved it off. Face off to the left, gonna be taken by Stovall, wins it back. McGuire just dumps one into the zone, picked up on the near side boards here. Salmon giving chase, Del Sale not gonna be able to hold on to the puck, back to the point looking for Owens. Owens just barely holds the blue line there. Nice job by the captain, Haddock on the back check. Now OU into the offensive zone. OU just gonna work one along the boards. That was Westbrook, near side boards. OU's gonna pick it up there. A couple of Arkansas players tie him up and the puck goes up in to the protective netting again. 16-16 to go in this second period. Probably like to see Arkansas press a little bit more to uh, get this uh, game leveling goal. The Razorbacks just haven't had a whole lot of offense uh, so far, six shots in the game. Uh, but might be heating up the two shots this period, though. Both come from the point. Face off, one back here by Arkansas. Getting those face off wins. As they'll work one ahead, this is Delisle. Delisle backhands one over. He finds Gratisar, who fires one on net, but it's an easy kick save there by Huberty. Far side boards. Giving chase there is Brown. Brown gets knocked off the puck momentarily, but Arkansas can't come away with it. This is going to be Kraminga. Kraminga sends a pass across for Beam. Beam loads up a shot. What a save by Thompson. Had to close up that five hole pretty quickly and did so. Quick reaction by Brock Thompson saves a saves an embarrassing goal in soccer for sure. <laughs> the old nutmeg. Arkansas we keep uh, harping on the shots. The Razorbacks were outshot last night by our calculations. 39-21 Gratisar had more than a third of those. He has another one here this period. Again like you said it was not a tough shot to defend but it was a shot. Foskey to pick this one up. He'll send one near side boards. He's got Haddock. Haddock racing out of the zone. Sorry, that's Sholin who flips one on net. He blows a tire. And just uh, clutching to his pearls on that one was the goaltender Huberty. Looks like he brought that one into the chest. Made sure he had it smothered good and tight. As that one was flipped on net, Arkansas shots this period have been weak at best. It's going to be Young to take the face off. He's got Wilson taking it with him. Young wins this one back. He's been their best faceoff guy today. As a quick shot by uh, Foster at the point gets blocked down there by O'Day. And Ulan were both there. O'Day's going to skate it ahead. He's got a lot of steam up the far side boards. Morrison knocks him off the puck. Foster finishes off the check, but OU gets the better of the puck. Arkansas, though, will turn the puck over. They'll pick it up here as Sholin sends a cross-ice pass. Finds Morrison. Morrison. Turned on the Jets there to burn past Lazaric, but Lazaric gets in good position to knock him off the puck. OU recovers. Wilson, near side, finds Ulan. Ulan, centering pass, back to Wilson. Wilson gets knocked off the puck by Morrison, but he was offside. His man entered the zone a little early. That was O'Day. You mentioned Lazaric. Uh, he's a junior from Sagas, California. No goals yet this year. He's got some speed too. He's six foot two and he's hard to get around. So if you burst past him, you, you've done something. He's a big guy and he's got some, got some wheels. Well, Morrison with that deceptive quickness as Giamana gets this face off win back. Quick shot, shoulder to side there by Thompson. Played hard off the boards. Haddock tries to play it ahead, hits the linesman. Boy, that's frustrating as Arkansas is gonna have to retreat now as OU picks up the puck in the offensive zone. They're gonna dig it out of the corner. A couple of Arkansas players down there. They'll tie up the stick of the OU player. A nice pass off for Haddock, but Haddock doesn't have the numbers. He'll just shoot one into the zone. He's going to pick it up there. Doesn't have to absorb a hit. Arkansas comes away with it. A centering pass locking up the stick over there in the corner was D'Souza. Arkansas comes away with it. This is going to be Stovall. Stovall has a man behind him. Takes a huge hit in the corner as McKinnis comes away with the puck. McKinnis and White right there. McKinnis sends it all the way down the ice. No icing here. Salmon's going to pick it up. OU was slow to get a change. They thought it was going to be icing, and Arkansas has an easy breakout here. Into the offensive zone. They're going to run one right by the linesman. They'll send one to the center. Pass back to, to De La Guardia at the point. Puck goes bounding up into the air. Haddock, a nice pass off for De La Guardia, but Arkansas gets pinned along the boards in the corner. 
The referee right there, the puck finally moves along. D'Souza has Beam on the breakout. He's going to send one for Beam. Beam across the red line. He's on his backhand on the far side. Beam still on his backhand, moves it to his forehand, fires a shot just high of the net, hits a stanchion on the near side. Lazaric had to play that one. And a quick shot, kick save, rebound there. Arkansas going to send this one back to the neutral zone. They're going to look to get a change. Arkansas heading off the ice. That's Salmon. Coming on for him is Gratisaw. Gratisar, the first one on, last one off for this for <laughs> at any time for this team. As Stovall stick handles, sends one high off the boards. Delisle's going to play it along. And a good job by Gratisar to enter the zone at the right time. Good timing. Lazaric loses this puck. Gratisar passes one off. Back to Young. Sorry, that was Brown. Brown loses the puck. OU the other way. They got a two-on-one if they hustle, but offside there was Beam. Too much steam for Beam. And Pard kind of slowed up there at the blue line to cause that offside. 13.04 to go in the second. Break for Arkansas as Oklahoma is breaking in three-on-two there on Thompson, the goaltender. Face off just outside the Arkansas zone. Arkansas. Our OU will finally win this one ahead. O'Day is going to pick up the puck. Owens plays that one along. Ulan standing there. Arkansas ties it up along the far side corner boards in their own zone. They're going to try to work it out of the zone now. They're holding on to the puck. That's Owens. Owens turns the puck over, though. Foskey does a good job of recovering, knocks his man into the boards. O'Day down there. Arkansas comes away with it. Near side, that was Brown. Brown sends one along for Gratisar, and now Delisle far side. Delisle on his forehand, loads one up, and just waits. Fires a shot off the post. Rebound is out there. Comes down into the corner as Cal Owens pinches down from his D spot. Delisle goes for a change. Picked up here for, by Brown. Back to Foskey. Fires a shot, shouldered up into the netting. And oh, no. Oh, there's an OU player in severe pain on the ice. Tyler Huberty, the junior goaltender, went down to make that save. They're stretching out his lower leg right now. He flipped off his glove and his mask immediately. It's a lower body injury for sure. Arkansas, a good rush there. We'll get you an update as soon as we can on Huberty. A good sign right away that they are getting him up to his feet. He is putting no weight on that right leg. He'll skate off the ice now. He is going to be helped towards the Arkansas bench. And warming up over there is going to be Brendan Manquin. He was the goaltender of record last night, now 4-3 and three on the season. He gave up three goals to Arkansas la or two goals to Arkansas last night to lower his 2.97 save percentage coming into this, game, this weekend series against Arkansas. Manquin only gave up two goals last night. But tonight he'll only have to play 32 minutes as we don't expect a return for Tyler Huberty. Had just under a 90% uh, save percentage last night. Saved uh, 19 of the 21 shots he saw. Arkansas players helping him out now. It's the captains. Looks like it's Brown. Manquin standing in net. Stretching out now. Arkansas using this time to take the timeout. Going to draw something up here. Something like that can really shake your team. We'll see how this uh, affects the OU players. It's really going to be important. After Manquin played last night, see how he responds. Not Hasn't had any type of time to warm up here. Arkansas's forwards are all warm. I mean, they've been shooting the puck at the net here. They're ready to go. So sometimes, you know, everybody gets up to speed at the same time. Sometimes uh, if you've got to come in halfway through a game like this, it's tougher to get back up to speed with everybody else. So Mank maybe Arkansas can capitalize here. Mank when doing his stretching down there now, I think he'll be good and ready. I don't, uh, I, you know, he's a senior. He played last night. I don't think uh, he's going to have much problem getting into this game. He'll be looking forward to his first shot, in fact. Face off one back here to Lazaric. As play continues here, 
big hit along the far side boards. Arkansas with a newfound in energy all of a sudden. The timeout helping them out. Foskey going to try to run this one down instead. Coming out of the net to play it was Thompson. Going to be Gratisar near side boards. Quick shot kicked aside there by Thompson. 12.02 to play in this period. Arkansas works one hard off the boards. Like it was blocked down. Brown tried to get it out of the zone. Delisle far side. Arkansas checking on him there. That's Owens. As OU comes away with it. Nice stick handling move by Beam. Puck flipped high into the air. Beam gloves it down to a stick. He's going to try to backhand one back along. He's still got it. Beam just skating circles around the hogs right now. Beam still with the puck. Beam going to lay a backhanded pass off along the boards. Owens was waiting for that second one, though. And Arkansas will just bat one back into the corner. Brown looking to get it out of there. But Beam comes away with it again. Owens lays a hit on him. That's Pard now. Pard is knocked off the puck. Back into the corner. Brown going to work it out. And Gratisar was skating ahead, but Delisle thought the better of it. Smart play there by Delisle not to try to force that pass. Delisle still with the puck. Plays it along the boards. Arkansas trying to get a change, but very slow to do so. And that allowed OU to get an easy breakout here. They'll work it into the offensive zone. Wilson loses the puck. Arkansas trying to work it out of the zone. It's tied up here along the near side boards with 10.56 to play in the second period. And they're going to blow this one dead. Arkansas has had the better of the play in this period like it did last night. Arkansas outscored Oklahoma 2 to nothing in the second period last night. Uh, but the shots haven't gone in this period. Uh, a lot of the shots, as we described early, were weak. The Razorbacks do lead right now, those 7-4 to four in the shots. Face off one back by Arkansas, giving it chase in the corner. As Foster, he knocks Uland off his beat. Arkansas being very physical right now, 10.45 to go in this period. Wilson back to the point, but he comes out to the neutral zone where McKinnis will play it here. He'll fire it wide of the net into the offensive zone. Comes OU. OU laying the body on there. Quick shot by Giamana. Tipped in front. Nice save by Thompson. Thompson, though, didn't know which direction that went. He got lucky. It was clear to the backboards. Paiute Morrison can't clear the puck. Checking on him is Casado. Arkansas trying to check their men here. And it's tipped all the way down the ice. Good job by Arkansas here. 10-11 to play in this second period. Arkansas on the forecheck, near side boards. That was Stans down there forechecking. Stovall back on defense now. Stans finally gets back on the back check. It's going to be picked up. DeGuire, De LaGuardia both on the ice. Wilson tries to chip it along to himself. No dice as Lazaric holds him up there. Arkansas with the puck. Far side boards. Wilson trying to play it out of the zone and does. OU was offside. They had to check up. Stans picks it up. Centering pass just chipped into the zone here by Arkansas. Arkansas onside now. Westbrook looking to work it out of the zone. He's got a man, a nice little one-two pass, and they get it ahead to Kraminga. Kraminga stick handles through one man. He's on his forehand, fires one off. Nice pass, but just fired wide of the net. Nine and a half to play here in this second period. Arkansas works it out of the zone. They've got a head of steam. Near side board, Sholin winds up a shot blocked down, and he'll, get, he'll go flying into the post area there. Arkansas back at the point. The DeGuire shot goes wide. Pellegrino far side. Pellegrino stick handling. Back to DeGuire. Wrong stick hand there as DeGuire is on his backhand now. He's got a man at the point. Fakes a pass. Fires a shot. Tipped in front, but it was blocked down there by the OU defender. One on one the other way. Thought he had a man. That was, oh, a huge hit laid on by DeGuire on Gaddy. And the smallest player for the Arkansas Razorbacks lays the hit on. Beam fires a shot. Save down. Rebound there. But nice job by DeGuire, who's having an excellent shift right now. Has had a couple of shots. Had a huge hit on a one-on-one. -on -one. And Young works this one out of the zone. Pellegrino leaves it there for Sholin. Sholin just plays into the zone. Arkansas goes for a change again. OU trying to back check here. Arkansas with it. Tic-tac passing now. Chris passing by Arkansas like we haven't seen in a while. Stovall with it. Stovall passes one across. Finds Foskey near side. Foskey fires a shot. It's blocked down in front. It gets caught up into the skates of his man. Or sorry, into the stomach of Giamana. Held on there. Pass is going to be high stick down. And it'll be an offensive zone faceoff for OU. So since Manquin's come into the game, Oklahoma's had the shots, and they've almost even the score in that area, 7-6 to six now. Manquin, I don't think, has even touched the puck as of yet. We've got 8.08 to go here in the second period. Oklahoma's still leading 2-1. to one. OU. The offensive zone faceoff. Stovall standing in there. 
Referee has buried the whistle in his pocket tonight. Been pretty clean on both sides, but now Stovall gets kicked out of the circle. That's never been said before, EJ. As Arkansas loses this faceoff, it gets flipped up into the netting again. Out of play, 8.04 to go in this second period. Arkansas has had their chances and their rushes where they haven't gotten shots have still been pretty good and effective. This is the first period of the five this weekend that Arkansas has led the face-off battle in a period. Doing very well this period. Must have been a talking point from Coach Galini in the locker room as Arkansas wins another one there. Cal Owens takes the wrong direction around a guy and turns the puck over as he was trying to fish it out of there. Foskey makes a stopping move, passes one along, hits the skates of Haddock. Haddock picks it up. Near side board, sauced one along, has his man up the ice. A little backhanded pass by Salmon, but it was picked off. Near side boards, up the, the near side. Owens into the offensive zone. They're going to say he was onside. And a quick backhanded move, shuts, scores! James Haddock! Boy, he's having the weekend of his life right now. Two goals for James Haddock. What a backhanded move. That's the same move he tried to make last night in the third period to try to shove one past Mankwin, and he wasn't missing this time. Last time he tried to go high, hit the shaft of the stick from Mankwin. This time he goes low, and Mankwin was not expecting it. That was the first shot Mankwin saw, and he uh, saw it as it went by his, his uh, right leg into the net. So James Haddock with a head of steam up the far side. Backhands one into the net, and the captain giving his team life. Off the faceoff, Arkansas wins it, dumps it into the zone. Lazaric comes away with it, makes a stick handling move around Gratisar. Lazaric, that long stick of his, plays it ahead. Quick shot goes through the goal mouth, but Arkansas will send this one out towards the blue line, dumped back in by OU. Now the far side boards at the point. Quick shot blocked down by Arkansas. They'll send one down. There's no icing here. Westbrook misplayed that one. Gratisar on him. Westbrook sends it hard around the boards. Brown far side picks it up. Centering pass. Gratisar scores. What a play. Jacob Brown turns the puck over, ready for it on the far side. Acted like he was going for a change. Instead, waited along the boards. Gets that pass, and Gratisar, Johnny on the spot, gives Arkansas a 3-2 lead. What a great play by the Razorbacks. Now Manquin's seen two shots, and uh, both of them got into the back of the net. So Arkansas has uh, definitely gotten the boost out of the goalie change, and now leads 3-2. Aikwin trying to get back up to speed. He had to play a tough game last night where Arkansas did get quite a few shots off on him, maybe not as much as Oklahoma. And now has to come in in relief. Another turnover out here out front, but Oklahoma clears it aside. Arkansas trying to fish it out of there. That's Young. Near side boards. Boy, OU looks like they are struggling to find their feet right now after the goalie change. Near side boards all the way down the ice. Beam giving chase here. He's going to beat out the icing as Foster lays a hit on him, but Beam gets the best of it. Shepard with it. He's got Giamana at the point. He'll feed it to him. Quick shot goes wide of the net. Pellegrino's going to get it and with space on the far side. Pellegrino skating ahead. Just dumps one into the zone and they're going to call him offside. Sholin couldn't slow up in time, but Arkansas will get a change here. And boy, there's a little bit of excitement in the atmosphere of the Jones Center. Two goals in a span of 37 seconds puts Arkansas on top uh, when it was not looking grim yet, uh, but it was certainly looking like Arkansas was going to have a hard time uh, getting some goals, and now they've gotten two in a quick span, and they've done it on just nine shots this period. 6.20 to go. In this period, Arkansas wins this one back again. Face-off battle has been theirs in the second period. Attic. Four checking there. Delca sail into the offensive zone. He'll play one off. He's got a man. Quick shot save. White thought he had him beat. And you can see him hang his head after that one. Wanted to elevate that puck a little bit more. Probably would have beat Thompson if he had. But Thompson, in the right position, makes the glove save. Good positioning, and his left arm was fully extended. So you know that White had the, uh, the far post marked. But he was stopped on that one. Quick shot, blocked down in front, rebound is there. Foskey does a nice job of just parrying that one aside. Near side boards, picked up here by D'Souza. D'Souza plays it back down low, White is there. White runs into the referee, Arkansas trying to fish it out of there. D'Souza with a shot, just missed. Tried to pick out the corner, 5.47 to go. As we see Huberty get wheeled off 
He's in a wheelchair right now. He seems to be okay. Arkansas, quick shot there by Oklahoma, though, as Arkansas turned that puck over. You were talking about the talking points in between periods. Uh, you know, a coach only gets the pregame and then two intermissions to make any points he has to make, and it might have been faceoffs. I would say it's defensive end turnovers. Those are just absolutely deadly. Uh, they've always been deadly here in the Jones Center, and uh, Arkansas has got to cut those out. Near side boards. Giamana just plays it back down low. This is OU. They're going to work one behind the net. That's Beam. Beam with the puck. Beam backhands one along, finds his man. It's going to be Kraminga. Kraminga back to Beam. Beam has Kraminga down in the corner. Kraminga can't get a hold of it, and Young's going to steal this one away. He's got Sholand ahead of him, but Young's going to take it. Leaves it for Sholand. Sholand winds up a shot block down there, and down goes Young. Young got caught up there in a weird position, but Young gets right back up. OU near side boards. Kraminga. Kraminga fires a shot. Easy kick save there by Thompson. Shuffled back along. Looked like it hit at the top of the boards there. Took a weird bounce. Arkansas trying to work it out of the zone. Lazarek sees it come to his stick. He's on his backhand, now forehand. He's going to work it into the zone. Young checking on him. Young finally fishes it out of there. And it's going to be Owens coming away with the puck for Arkansas. Near side boards. He'll, gonna, he'll fire one well ahead. Pellegrino's going to get this one. Pellegrino with a man right on him. That was Wilson. Wilson knocks him off the puck. A nice play by the back checker. Arkansas, near side. Cal Owens just dumps it back deep. Stovall giving chase on Wilson. Wilson leaves it there for his man. That's going to be Lazaric turning it back around and has a D to D pass for his man on that side. Arkansas trying to knock it down. They'll finally just send it back into the zone. They're going to get a change here. Offside. It's checked up by Arkansas. Working it out, though, is going to be OU. Stovall couldn't quite hold the blue line on the errant pass by the OU player. Pard picks it up. Pard at the low circle, fires a shot. Rebound there. Arkansas knocks it aside. Another shot there in front. Giamana. the puck comes loose, and another kick saved by Thompson. Exciting moments here. 3.54 to go in the second period. This is going to be Haddock. Leaves it off. Salmon, centering pass, looking for Haddock again. That would have been three, and you know what that means. Can you get your hat over that net? Uland. Fires one into the zone, and it hits the safety barrier. 3.39 to go in the second. Arkansas still putting the pressure on the Oklahoma goaltender, and evidently Mank Mankwin uh, did not have enough time to prepare here. As uh, Now I guess he finds himself to be the uh, pitcher of record in this game. One back here by McKinnis. Arkansas trying to just work it out of the zone, but McKinnis finally gets it. He'll play one off in the corner. DeGuire checking on him. Brown's going to come away with it. Brown whiffs on picking up the puck, though. It's picked up now. Back to the point. McKinnis with it. He's got a man far side of the ice. Couldn't get it to him, though. Arkansas looking to pick it up behind the net, but OU comes away with it. McKinnis has Westbrook far side instead. Fires a shot. Gets through the traffic. Nice save again by Thompson. Thompson very collected back in net. Arkansas. Defending the corner now. Quick shot fired. That puck didn't get through. Morrison was there along with DeGuire. A couple of Arkansas players trying to dig it out of there. McKinnis comes away with it. Arkansas tries to clear the zone, and now they do. This is Gratisar, stick handling. Tries to work one around Westbrook. He's got it now down in the corner, but Westbrook does a good job of pinning him. D'Souza with it. D'Souza flips it high into the air. Arkansas holds the blue line. That was Wilson. Fires a shot. In front is Gratisar. Gratisar backhands one in front. Young was there. Couldn't get good enough wood on it as it flips high into the air below the OU goal line. Flipped up into the air again. Looking for Del Casale. Arkansas plays it near side boards. Wilson to work it out. Wilson, stopping move, leaves it there, looking for Young. Young can't get it out, skated along, but Delca sails behind the defense. He winds up a shot, nice back check. Great job there by Jesse Foskey, and that's the reason he's wearing that A on the jersey. The captains for Arkansas coming up big tonight. Quick shot, fired wide, near side boards. Going to just be dumped back along the board. Centering pass, nobody home. Pard steals it away. Sent ahead, gloved down by Sholin. Nice Awareness by him, gets caught in the skates there. Arkansas holds the zone. Cal Owens thought he did at least. And the official, the linesman slow on the whistle there, which uh, creates sometimes a disturbance. In this case, uh, people think you were playing beyond the whistle when it should have been blown a couple of seconds sooner. Owens stirring it up with Pard on the near side. 
You're one. right there about Foskey. He's been outstanding on defense. Uh, if you've got an A or a C on your Arkansas uniform today, tonight, you are uh, probably playing a pretty good game. Brown with an assist, Haddock with two goals. Those are your two captains. And Foskey right there on the back check. And this faceoff is won back by Oklahoma. Near side, Lazaric. Lazaric has to avoid the referee to get that puck. Near, now he'll pass it up. Wilson tries to work it into the zone. He lays past a man. Arkansas trying to pin it along the board. Zulin comes away with it only momentarily. Boy, Salmon needs to be careful with that stick. Came up a little hot. Just avoided the face mask of the OU player. Near side now, Salmon tries to work it along. Salmon is going to have to beat Lazaric, but Lazaric with too much speed just plays it back to his goaltender, who will have to smother it here. And is that the first time then that Manquin's touched the puck? Other than, I guess he didn't have to dig the other two out of the net, but he, he did had, finally get to touch it, I think. He, uh, he, I think he covered one up earlier as well. Arkansas on the near side, 125 to go in the second period. Banquin just now getting his feet under him. He's now officially in the game. Arkansas won't win this faceoff. Del Casale will come away with it. Arkansas checking hard, still on the forecheck. One thing they didn't do last night when they grabbed the lead was stay frosty on the forecheck. Quick pass out front, and Brown fired a shot, and Manquin a serviceable save. Now he's been tested. Boy, if Brown puts that one in. Just what approved our theory about the captains tonight. They have been outstanding for Arkansas. Well, Brown did have the assist there on the Gratisar goal, so all the captains have been involved, and Foskey's been uh, exceptional on defense. Face off to the left of the goaltender, Manquin. Manquin in a crouch position. Arkansas will win this one eventually, but then OU will get it right away. Westbrook has Bean near side boards. Bean. Plays it up ahead, finds Shepard. Shepard into the zone, fires a shot from the high slot. Almost gets past him. And oh my goodness, it got past him, hit the post. Thompson was able to smother it. It really tells you how good a shot that was because Thompson made the save. It trickled out of his glove and headed right for the uh, post to uh, the goaltender's left and uh, stayed out of the net. Great reaction to turn back around by Thompson. Realized he didn't have control of it. Turned around only to see it almost go off the post and into the net. But Arkansas clinging to this 3-2 lead now. As OU wins this one ahead. Arkansas takes it away. They'll fire one far side of the ice. They got Sholin, or Haddock in the zone to pass. Nobody home. Owens just flips it back into the zone, but out of play, I should say. Tried to flip that one off the half board over there into the zone, but... Uh, no dice on that play. We talk about this a lot. Last minute goals, first minute goals. Uh, this, uh, for Arkansas to get one, it could be a crusher for Oklahoma and for Arkansas to give one up uh, would give Oklahoma all kinds of confidence. Like I said before the game, eight goals in two third periods against the Razorbacks in two games. Face off just outside the OU zone. 44 seconds left in the second period. Arkansas wins this one back again. Foskey dumps it into the zone, giving chase now. Haddock far side. It's going to be played along there by Giamana. The turning move there by Stovall. Fires a quick shot. Tried to catch Manquin off guard, but he was ready. 30 seconds to go in the period. Beam skating ahead. Beam gets laid a hit on there by Foskey. The hip check by Foskey has been effective tonight. When they're faster than you, just get in their way. Arkansas. Near side, they're gonna get it out of the zone. Three OU players there, Haddock is gonna be manning the far side of the ice. Haddock all alone over there. Foskey standing on the curling circle on the outside of the house. But Arkansas will get it back. They'll fire it ahead. Haddock watches it go down the ice. A bad pass there. And with .8 seconds left, Stovall's gonna stir it up a little bit. Well, you've got two going on right here. You got Shepard. Going at it there with Owens, and then up here against the boards, it's Beam and Stovall. So lots of love here between these two bordering states. Stovall lives for this stuff. He is smiling, the biggest grin on his face right now. And Beam's matching him with it too. He's, they both got words for each other. There was frustration out of Beam there initially, but Stovall the entire time. He's maniacal sometimes, but uh, He's definitely calculated whenever he tries to stir it up with some guys. 
I assume they'll both be serving penalties. With .8 seconds left in the period, the junior forward, Michael Beam, the points leader coming into this weekend from Grand Rapids, Michigan, six foot two. Stovall, meanwhile, is, They're still uh, talking each other. Now they're nose to nose again. Eight tenths of a second left here in the period. I, for one, I didn't, I didn't see the need to blow the whistle there for the icing, but I guess it is to uh, Oklahoma's advantage that the referees did. It is possible to score a goal with less than a second left. We've seen it before. I'll go out here. Knock on wood on this. They're just going to try to shoot it off the face off. Looks like it's going to be his goal just to block it down. Good job by Arkansas there. Colin Young has been awesome on the faceoffs tonight. And, uh, he was the guy that coach wanted out there anyways to take that one as Arkansas has a three to two lead at the end of two. Stovall getting in the heads of all the OU players. They turned their heads towards him as they were skating towards the locker room. Stovall skated right past their bench. 18 minutes go on the clock. Arkansas took that 3-2 lead, and like we said earlier, a big, uh, big loss for uh, OU as uh, Huberty was wheeled out of here. That's the update that we have. As far as we know, he uh, was put in a wheelchair. He was wheeled out uh, through the Arkansas Zamboni doors over here. So we wish nothing but the best for him. It's a good second period there for the Razorbacks. And, uh, you know, that, that an injury like that cuts both ways. One team it can uh, inspire. You know, you want to go out and win it for your uh, fallen teammate. And the other team says, hey, look, uh, we may have an opportunity here in Arkansas. Uh, it cut that way for the Razorbacks in the second period. Two goals in a 37-second span. And they head into the second intermission, as they usually do against Oklahoma, with a lead. This one, three to two. All right, so we'll be back with the third period of action as 18 minutes go on the clock, you see there on your screen. We'll be back in about that amount of time for the start of the third period.
Welcome back to the third period here in Springdale, Arkansas, as Arkansas is up 3-2 to two after uh, the goaltender for the Oklahoma Sooners, Tyler Huberty, went down in the second period. Still no update on what his status is. We wish him all the best, but now in goal for the uh, Oklahoma Sooners is Brandon Minkwin. He gave up the first two, goal, uh, two goals on the first two shots he saw, and that allowed Arkansas to take the lead. Oklahoma in the second period continued to kind of dominate the shooting part of that because they did get behind. The Sooners now uh, out shooting the Razorbacks 27-14. Uh, last night, as I mentioned, it was 39-21. There's not much doubt that Oklahoma's going to get the shots. Arkansas just can't give up those prime opportunities uh, right in front of the goal. Uh, they've got to stop the turnovers. Uh, and really, if they, get, if they get a shot here early in the uh, third period, they've got to connect, they've got to convert, uh, get a two goal lead on the uh, Sooners and really force Oklahoma to uh, play wide open. Face off at center ice, one back by Arkansas. So continuing that momentum on the face offs from the second period, Arkansas crisp passing in their own zone. Boy, if they could do that for an entire period, that'd be great and almost turning it over there in front was Cal Owens and now turned over to Del Casale. Centering pass out front and is blocked away by Thompson, Arkansas. Too much playing around with the puck in their own zone, and OU comes away with it again. This is Beam. Beam on his backhand, gets it knocked away. Del Delisle just knocks this one out. Center ice, this is going to be Gratisar, loads one up. Gratisar getting chased down there by the defender. Brown sends this one all the way back, comes down to the near side, all the way down the ice, and they're going to call an icing. Oklahoma thought that... Uh, Oklahoma thought that maybe Arkansas sent that one down the ice, but they're going to blow this one dead for icing. Good opportunity for the Razorbacks, 40 seconds into the period. Got some uh, OU players at the end of their shift. And the Razorbacks getting to make a change. Face off to the left of Manquin. It's one back by Arkansas. Weak pass to the point. Morrison just has to jump, dump it into the zone. It's going to be picked up here. Centering, or sorry, a D to D passes, goes all the way around the boards near side. Now Morrison with it. Past the red line, just dumps one into the Oklahoma zone. One minute gone here in the third period. Three to two lead for the Arkansas Razorbacks. The Ice Hogs, near side boards, trying to dump it back into the zone. Four OU players on the near side. As an Arkansas player is back, that's Foster. He's gonna line up White. White makes a move past Foster. White with it, gets knocked off his feet, and they're gonna call a penalty here. A hook there on Sean Foster. That is the first penalty of the game that will give someone an, a, uh, an advantage. Oklahoma here at 113 of the third period will go on the power play. It's actually going to be Paiute Morrison going to the box for hooking. 18.47 to go here in this third period. And it's going to be an OU power play. They get it back to the point. Lazaric, D to D pass, finds Giamana. Giamana fires a shot through the traffic, blocked down, and Arkansas clears the zone. All the way down the ice, out of the net to play that one is Manquin. Manquin with the puck, leaves it there for his man. That's Lazaric. Lazaric behind his own cage, going to work it out of the zone. Uh, Oklahoma touches up on the goal line. They're going to break out of the zone as Foskey knocks that one out of the zone just momentarily and long enough to force the offside. 141 left in the Paiute Morris Morrison hooking minor. 18.27 on the game clock. Time for Arkansas to win some faceoffs. As you mentioned, won the faceoff battle for the first time this weekend in the uh, second period. Faceoff just outside the Arkansas zone. It's going to be Delisle to take it, but it's lost back here. Chipped into the zone here. It's going to be Giamana. Giamana with the puck. OU going to just send this one hard around the boards. Shepard's going to dig it out there. Big hit laid on by Foskey. Back to the point. Attic, pressuring there. Back to the point, Lazaric. Lazaric fires a shot through the traffic, but it gets blocked down by his own man, and Foster clears it all the way down the ice. Arkansas gets a change here. Attic on the ice, along with the other three captains here. All the captains on the ice here on this penalty kill. It's going to be skated behind the net by Beam. Beam behind the Arkansas goal line. On his backhand and taking out two people on that hit is guess who? Jesse Foskey and leaning too far over the boards was Sean Foster. And he's now sitting down on the bench as he got a stinger on his elbow. 
Foskey with a great check. Took out two Oklahoma players and then was going to clear the puck. And it would have gone all the way down the ice had it not hit an Arkansas player on the bench. Arkansas wins this faceoff back. They're going to try to clear the zone, and Owens does. Comes trickling out all the way down the ice. Just under a minute left in this penalty, 48 seconds, I should say. Coming around now, OU. They're going to try a pass to the near side, Pard. Pard has D'Souza near side. Instead, opts to skate it in himself. Pard makes a move around De LaGuardia, who was pressuring on him. Back to the point. It's going to be held in there. And this is White. White cycling it back down low. Holding on to it, D'Souza. Back to Pard. Pard's got White at the point. Pard skates in, fires a shot. Rebound there. De LaGuardia tries to clear the zone. Wilson holds on to it. Back to Wilson at the point. D'Souza, Wilson, White near side now. White's going to fire a shot well wide in the net. D'Souza looking to keep that in the zone. Instead, it's Wilson. Ray Wilson with the puck. Finds his man. It's going to be D'Souza. D'Souza sauces one down low. There's Pard. Nine seconds left. Back to White. White's going to fire a shot. Goes off the crossbar. And up in and up and out of play. I should say. Four seconds left in the power play. Oklahoma really hasn't gotten anything going on this one. And Arkansas with the uh, couple of opportunities just it's had uh, has uh, delivered on most of them, clearing the zone. Got to be Brown to take the face off. Delisle on the ice with him along with Foster. Flipped up into the air. Delisle going to give chase. Corey Delisle going to run him down into the corner, and Arkansas has successfully killed off the minor penalty. Near side boards. Going to get flipped high into the air. Having to get that one down is going to be Brown, but Brown gets it stolen away by the much faster Shepard. Shepard with the puck. Shepard on his backhand, moves it to his forehand, centering pass. Nice break up there by Young. I'm sorry, Delisle, and Delisle will go to the bench. Lazarek skates it in, had to wait for his man to check up the offside, and Arkansas just chips one away. That was Brown as Foskey, Foster, and Brown go for a change. Near side boards, Uland all alone up the near side, and Arkansas lines up a hit there. That's Owens, or sorry, De La Guardia. Back down low, Owens is going to play it there. Owens on his man, comes back to the point, McKinnis, finds Giamana, fires a shot through the traffic, goes just wide of the net. 15.55 to go in the period. Holding on to his Ulan. Ulan skates to the high slot. He's going to fire a shot blocked down by Sholin. Nobody on the near side for Arkansas. Quick shot tipped in front. Nice save by Thompson. Beam getting hooked behind the net there by Owens. Owens knocks him off the puck, and Owens just chips one back behind. De La Guardia, but low his own goal line. Sends one high off the boards and out to center ice. Arkansas going to play it back. A smart play there by Young. Another alternate captain. As Owen skates it ahead, we'll send this one down on goal, and it's paddled down as Sholin pressures him to cover it up. 15-19 to go in the third period. Arkansas with a 3-2 lead. Absolutely right on that. Playing a puck back so often you don't see it uh, when it should have been done. That's usually where your man is open as you're pushing forward. You have, uh, you have that uh, leverage on the ice with people behind you. Face off one back here by OU, near side. It's passed along. Morrison can't come away with that one. Wilson going to skate it back behind the net. 15-10 to go in this third period. Wilson makes a nice stick handling move to get past Stovall. Wilson still with the puck, now on his backhand as Haddock lines up a hit, but instead hit the boards. Boy, Wilson had to duck out of the way of that one, and it forced a turnover for Arkansas. Finds Salmon. Salmon fires a shot. Kick save. OU breaks out. Nice job by Stovall controlling that one. Almost a bad backhand pass. Ulan tries to break that one up. A couple of Arkansas players losing it. Backhand here for Ulan. He's going to move to his forehand. Fires a shot. Glove save. Boy, he had to reach back across his body to, to uh, over his left, right shoulder to make that save. Ulan nice save with by some Tom. nice uh, moves getting across the ice. I thought he was going to take that backhand. He had his uh, man beat, uh, but he wanted to uh, circle back around, try the forehand, and really a pretty easy save head high for Thompson. Face off, one here by OU. Shepard fires a quick shot off of that. Sticked aside by Thompson. Puck is up into the air. Brown on it, along with Foskey, who lays a hit on a man. Now Brown leaves it there. It's going to be Gratisar, far side. Gratisar loses it, but Brown is going to clean up after him. Brown tries to dump it in, skated down by the OU player. Three on two the other way. Arkansas back checks just in time. Good job by Foskey, but that one went right across the goal mouth. As OU is fighting for it along the boards. 
Shepard knocking a man to the ground. That was Owens. And working it out of the zone is Granisar. He somehow gets past both defenders. Stick handle, shoot, scores! What a move by Luke Granisar! The breakout pass by Cal Owens. And is this kid amazing or what? So Granisar. Great, great move by Granisar. He had two Oklahoma players on either side of him. They're both trying to chop at his stick, knock the puck away, and then he has the wherewithal to lift the puck on a beautiful wrist shot from point blank range that beats Manquin, the fourth Arkansas goal. Galini's still complaining though that there should have been a cross check call after, the, after that at least, or as that was happening in the ACHA rules, that would still be a penalty on OU. No matter, Arkansas takes a two goal lead here. They're up 4-2, comes all the way down the ice. No icing as Owens gloved that one down. Comes down to here for Sholin. Sholin, a nice backhand pass, working through the traffic. Arkansas, four on two the other way. Young skates it into the zone, leaves it there. This is Sholin, fires a shot, kicked aside by Manquin. Far side boards, D'Souza to break out. He just avoids a huge hit by Foskey, who's been working that hip check all night. 13.26 to go in the period. Arkansas skates this one back to center ice. Sam in there along with Young. Young lays a hit on the man over there. Centering pass broken up here by Wilson. Nice job. He'll fire it down into the zone. Wilson one on three down there, and it's taken away by Giamana. Giamana to get it out of the zone. Has to get past his own player. Salmon plays it back. And, boy, the passing has been excellent by Arkansas in this period. Turn to puck over there, but DeGuire is going to get it back. DeGuire with a man behind the net. Instead just pins it along the far side corner boards. McGuire still working it along. Good job getting out of that pin, but O'Day is all over him. O'Day is just looking for that number two and it's just going to pin him again. It's picked up here. Arkansas slashes a man down, no call. Near side, puck hits a stanchion, comes all the way out, but Salmon's going to clean up for the Hogs. He'll send one hard around the board. Stovall on the near side will pick this one up. He's going to have to absorb a hit from Lazarek, and they'll work it out of the zone. That was Wilson, kicked ahead by Pard, onside. And a good job by Arkansas, but back to the blue line. Lazaric couldn't hold it. And there are about five or six fans right here in front of us. We're about right on the blue line calling this game. All of them doing just as good a job as the linemen who made the call, the offside. OU looking a little bit disoriented. They need to gather themselves out there right now. They have looked lost for most of this third period. Foster going to dump one in just wide of the goal. Arkansas pinching down. Near side boards gets cleared all the way down the ice. No icing. Foster backhands one across the, <laughs> across the middle of the ice. Dangerous pass. Arkansas avoids the puck. Checks up the offside. As Pellegrino lines up a hit, Part avoids him. Two on two. Shepard into the offensive zone. Fires a shot wide of the net. It's going to be Haddock. Haddock with all the room. Has a man far side, Pellegrino, but instead opts to take it himself. Pellegrino makes a nice stopping move. He's got all the room in the world. Passes one looking for Foskey, holding the blue line. Nice job by Young. Back down for Pellegrino. Pellegrino gets knocked off the puck momentarily by Shepard, but does send it deep into the zone. That's where Haddock is. Haddock takes a big hit from his man. Foskey fires a shot. Blocker to side. Into the corner. That's Brown. Brown with the puck. Has a man at the point. That's Gratisar. Gratisar near side. Leaves it. He has a man. That's Owens. Fires a shot near side. That one was going to go wide of the net, but it's saved down by Manquin. Arkansas has got to keep shooting it, though. I think that's where they might have uh, lost their momentum last night when they came into the third period with a 2-0 lead, and it quickly evaporated and ended up in an L for the Razorbacks. Faceoff going to come to the left of Manquin. Brendan Manquin, the Rolling Hills, California native. As Arkansas watches, as Westbrook picks this puck up, takes a tough bounce off of a skate of a defender there. But OU is going to break out of the zone here. They're going to cross the blue line, red line, tries to tip it into the zone with Delca Sales turned over. This is Gratisar again. Gratisar lining one up, fires it low this time, and an easy save for Manquin. Very casual on that save by Manquin. Maybe not the time to be so casual after you've given up three goals in relief. 
He's had a rough night, a night I don't think he expected to have. It's interesting, you know, these are still 18, 19, 20, 26-year-old kids out there, <laughs> and they, uh, you know, they're affected by these things when they see a teammate go down, and I think there's a realization, hey, I'm not – I'm not impervious to all of, it, all of this, and something could happen to me, and I think it makes them a little more cautious. Face off one back by OU. Gratisar tried to stop that one, but back the other way is O'Day. O'Day with a head of steam. He tries a centering pass, but Kraminga was tied up there. Wilson he sends it back along. Kraminga down in the corner. He's going to pick this puck up. Kraminga gets knocked off the puck. Brown chips one along the near side boards. Trying to glove that one down was Delisle. Brown comes away with it. Tries to play it ahead. Brown, near side boards, checking his man. That was Wilson down there. And finally, Arkansas comes away with this. This is DeGuire. DeGuire has a man streaking up the near side, but Wilson gets a stick on that one. Gratisar breaks up the play, dumps it into the zone, and goes to get a change. De La Guardia on the ice. He'll stay out there. Salmon and Wilson checking on him. Tristan Wilson on the ice now for Arkansas. Near side is Lazaric. Lazaric sends this one down into the zone. Morrison. Near side boards finds De La Guardia. De La Guardia takes a huge hit on the near side by D'Souza. D'Souza to White. White down low and absorbing a check there was Stovall. Del Casale plays this one back, but it's stolen away, and Arkansas has got Wilson ahead. Wilson just fires that one weakly on net, looking for the rebound, and it was there momentarily. Manquin had a tough time handling that one in his glove. Even unsteady on that one, that one from just beyond the blue line and just lofted up to him, and he dropped it out of his glove, almost left a rebound opportunity there for the Razorbacks. He's able to get a paddle on it, tuck it back underneath him. Stovall to take the face off. Stovall going to get kicked out, and, yeah, we've talked about this before. It happens, doesn't it? I think it's uh, partly because of the way he sets up. Notorious false starter near side. Flipped up into the air. OU going to get away here as Thompson tries to clear that one aside. Del Casale making a good play. Rebound out front. Quick shot right into the belly of Thompson. Boy, Arkansas dodged a bullet twice there. Thompson first almost caused his own peril there. He didn't want to backhand it. He went with his forehand and, and uh, hit the puck right into an oncoming OU uh, winger. And then the puck ends up in one of those uh, – Little melees right by the net that have been so hurtful for the Hogs. This one, though, he survives, and Arkansas still has a 4-2 lead. Well, you look at how the first two goals have been scored by OU in this game. That was uh, strangely reminiscent of what could have happened there for Ar against Arkansas. Foskey's going to clean this one up. Far side boards. Arkansas to work it out of the zone. They'll send one to the far near side now. Picking that one up is McKinnon. McKinnis. Sorry. McKinnis. To work it ahead, has a man near side, but Arkansas steals that one away. Sholin, Sholin leaves one there. Pellegrino, offensive zone. Pellegrino makes a couple of uh, skate moves there, but the centering pass is picked off by Giamana. Giamana having a tough time breaking out of the zone. He'll soccer one in, and they'll have to check up the offside. Pard shaking his head. And Arkansas tries to work it out of the zone. Nice stick handling here by the Arkansas player. He'll knock one into the zone. That was Cal Owens. Near side boards, OU trying to get it out of the zone. Morrison standing at the point, ready to field the puck if it comes his way. Morrison now retreating back on defense as OU breaks into the offensive zone. Wilson fires a shot, Morrison blocks it down. Behind the net, on the back of the net for a moment as Foster has to chop it down. Picked up again by White. White, near side boards, fires it back to the point and a big trip there. Knocks Delisle off the puck, no call. And picking it up is gonna be Westbrook. Letting him play. Gratisar. Stolen away here by Delisle. Delisle comes away with it. Leaves it for Gratisar, who leaves it on the far side. Quick shot. It is in. Go. No. It was saved. Wow. It hit the post on the far side and bounced back across the crease. And able to fall on it there was Manquin. A couple of Arkansas players threw their hands up in the air which prompted me to say goal, but it was definitely not as Mankwin got back in time. Reminiscent of Thompson's save earlier. And was that Granisar had the puck in the middle and passed it off there to, uh, it was Haddock. to, to Haddock. Uh, and nice passing by Arkansas, just unfortunate there. Haddock looking for that third goal tonight. You know they're going to try to get it for him. 
It's a quick shot from the point. Goes just wide of the net. Picked up there. Far side by Salmon. Salmon lazily played that one along. It's chopped back along. This is going to be Foskey. Foskey loads one up. He's got Stovall at the point with him. Stovall. Or Foskey backs off as Stovall pinches down now. Near side boards. OU trying to work it out. Foskey gloves it down. Shields his man off the puck. Great job by Jesse Foskey. He hasn't had a bad shift tonight. Stovall picks it up here. Leaves it off. This is going to be Haddock. Far side. Got a couple of men here. It's Owens. Back to Foskey. Good passing by Arkansas. And a quick shot goes wide. Near side now. Going to be Stovall's centering pass is broken up by OU. They'll lift one into the air. Played with a high stick. And they're going to blow that one dead. Just a reflex action there by Foskey, who continues to play outstanding hockey. i tell you what Arkansas continues to do here. This is the first period I can remember. Now they, they got out to an early lead in shots in the second period. But Arkansas has uh, 10 shots on goal to Oklahoma's five. That's how you win when you're up 4-2. to two. You don't quit on the offensive end. If you're getting offensive shots, those are all things. That's not going in your own net. So seven, keep seven, it up. 7-14 to go here in the third period. Arkansas near side boards. Wilson looking to chase this one down. Westbrook gets a stick on it. Hits a stanchion again. As Oklahoma tries to work it out of the zone, they do only momentarily as Arkansas works it back in. Pinned along the near side boards. Three OU players there along with them is O'Day. O'Day down there along with a couple of Arkansas players. Wilson, including Young. Sholin was over there. So was Lazaric. Lazaric plays it back along near side boards. Trying to get it out of the zone now is Raymond Wilson. Wilson sends it up the near side. He comes all the way down the ice, and they're going to blow this one dead for icing. Aaron Kraminga slams his stick in frustration, as does Ray Wilson, as they got to stay out there even longer. Another good thing about it, if you continue the offensive pressure, you make them make mistakes, and now they've uh, iced the puck, and you have the advantage of fresh people on the ice. 6.37 to go in this third period. Back to Gratisar. Gratisar on his backhand. Gratisar working through. Fires a quick shot down into the corner. It's going to be Delisle picking it up there. He plays it back down for Brown. Brown avoids a check there and Brown actually gets the puck. Brown pinning it along in the offensive zone corner. This is Delisle. Delisle tries to fish it out of there but it goes the wrong way. Westbrook hard off the boards. Arkansas lining up a hit on the far side. Gratisar lines up a shot through the traffic but it's blocked down there by Wilson. Wilson a breakout pass. Hits the stick wrong on Kraminga. Arkansas offensive zone. Nice away move by Morrison and Arkansas is able to break out quickly here. Foster is a deceptive speed, speed, and he fires this one up into the netting. Just under six to play in this third period. Go, a four checking, to two Arkansas lead. Checking scores from football Saturday since we have Oklahoma and Arkansas fans. Oklahoma 55, Oklahoma State 45. That is crazy. Meanwhile, Arkansas came back and won their game. 39-38. That seems to be the score that works well for the Razorbacks this year. Arkansas back to the point. This is going to be Owens firing a shot. Blocked down. OU going to try to work it back the other way. And Owens just checks his man into the board. He was already down. Back up the boards and out of play. So 547 left here in the third period. Arkansas with a 4-2 lead. You know, you play a team three times, and if you are told before the year you're only going to beat them once, the one you want to beat them is the last one. Arkansas has shown a lot of improvement, played well Thursday night, uh, played okay last night, and they are uh, hanging tough tonight. Got to finish strong right here. OU will wait two weeks before they play their next games. It'll be on the road in the state of Colorado. Quick shot off the faceoff, blocker down. They have a three-game weekend. One against Colorado and two against Colorado State. Arkansas to clear the zone here. This is going to be Gratisar with the puck. Sorry, that's Salmon. That eight kind of throws me off sometimes. Back behind the net. Manklin misplays that puck. Arkansas gets to it first, but it's chopped away by Shepard. Centering pass back to Shepard's skates. Shepard, the head of steam, but there are so many sticks on him as soon as he gets the puck. Arkansas doesn't want him building up any momentum as Salmon absorbs a hit in the corner. Gets locked up in the skates here. Shepard finally digs it out. He'll send it back to the point. Quick shot. Fired just wide of the net. Picked up here. Another shot from a tough angle, and it's in. Oh, no. That's what you wanted to avoid if you were Brock Thompson, and it just caught him awkwardly. Hit him off the, off the side. He tried to reach back with the glove to save it, and it just fell behind him into the net. The short-sided goal. The shot from that angle. That, that near post has got to be covered, and it snuck in past Thompson. 
And now we do have a game with 5.05 left in the third period. This is where you can make your medal here. You're going to be testing it. All of a sudden, the wind kind of taken out of this crowd. They've been a fun crowd tonight. Definitely involved with the action. Morrison up the near side. It's going to be Westbrook at the point. Fires a shot, goes wide of the net. Arkansas checking Del Casale off the puck. That's Foster. Foster on him. Coming away with it finally is going to be White. White, Del Casale. Del Casale down below the Arkansas goal line. And Sean Foster is having a great shift right now. Checking Del Casale. Foster. In his skates now. It comes loose out front. Arkansas, nice job to stick that one away. Now on the forehand, Lazaric. Lazaric works it to the high circle, makes a nice stopping move. Back to the point. Westbrook lines up a shot. Blocked down by Arkansas. Pellegrino with it, and he'll just lazily chip this one out of the zone. Arkansas needs a change. This offensive line going to stay on the ice momentarily. Nice job by Sholin kicking that one to his stick. And down into the zone. Young gets it. Sholin's going to be the uh, getting a change. Quick shot goes wide of the net. Owens. 4.07 to go here in this third period. Lazaric with the puck. Lazaric working it out of the zone. Blue line, red line. He's one on five right now, but he might win the race to the puck over Foskey. Lazaric pins it down there. Three Arkansas players in the fray. And knocked off the puck there by O'Day was Owens, but Owens will end up with it. He'll backhand one along. Quick outlet pass. Stolen away. Back to the Arkansas player. Uh, cherry picking ahead. That's Gratisar. Who else? Foskey with it. Foskey to Owens. Owens to Foskey. Nice little one-two passing there. Finds Foskey. Near side boards. They have Gratisar. He'll dump it into the zone. Sorry, that was Delisle. Delisle. Near side boards. Arkansas getting a D change here. Owens slow getting off the ice. They'll fire it down low. Picked off here. And back the other way by O'Day. O'Day has DeGuire on him. Checked away only momentarily. O'Day, though, is going to have to regroup. He makes a spinning move. Sends it down low. No one covering Kraminga. Stick side shot. Saved down there by Thompson. Beam comes away with it. Arkansas trying to play it back along. Back to the point. Quick shot. Locked down easily in front by Arkansas. Comes down the ice. And this one's going to go for icing. Giamano wins the race to the puck. Gratisar will have to stay on the ice along with all those Arkansas players that are halfway over the boards right now. So we're going to have almost three minutes, 2.57. Drama and tension here at the Jones Center. Arkansas might want to take a timeout here. Not sure if uh, Coach Galini is into doing that. A couple of players with their hands on their hips. As Gratisar tries to win this faceoff, instead OU's going to win it back. Lazaric to the point, has McKinnis. McKinnis had to... Uh, had to fight that one off. That one goes off the helmet of the referee down into the corner. Comes down to the near side. Picked up here by Lazaric. Lazaric has to clear the zone. Comes all the way back down for Arkansas to pick up. It's going to be Owens. Owens sends one near side. And a bad play here by Stovall. He couldn't hold on to the puck, but a good job recovering by Arkansas. Quick shot in front. Save. Woo. 2.32 to go in this third period. After Arkansas had a... Fairly healthy shot lead. Now that all the shots are coming down at the Arkansas end of the ice, that's the wrong end for the Razorbacks. Oklahoma starting to turn it up, smelling a chance at tying this thing up with 2.32 to go. Face off, going to be one back here for Arkansas. Owens is going to pick it up. He'll backhand one along to the open side of the ice. Foskey with a little bit of time. Banks one off the near side boards. Wilson catches a slew foot from Lazaric. Lazaric on the near side. Trying to play one back to his man. He's got Wilson. Wilson plays it back to his D-man. It's going to be Westbrook. Westbrook, far side, has a man. Knocked off the puck only momentarily. That was Ulan. And now it's going to be Foskey. Foskey backhands one along, but pressuring hard now are OU. They're on a full four check here. Two guys below the goal line on Arkansas' side of the ice. Two minutes to go in this game. Wilson getting checked hard there by Owens and coming away with it is Stovall. Stovall tries to get it out of the zone and it comes up into the net as Justin McDowell makes a nice matrix move to get out of that way of that one. Too often those sixth, seventh, and eighth players on the uh, ice, the linesman got in the way of one clearing attempt. It's small ice, they get in the way sometimes. Can't say enough about these uh, Arkansas coaches. Doing a great job with this young club. Sargatel wins the faceoff. Nice stopping move by Foster. Oldest player on the team, 26 years old. He'll skate one in, backhands one along the boards, goes down into the corner, picked up here by McKinnis. McKinnis working it out of the zone. He's got a head of steam. Haddock right in his hip pocket. He takes him right off the puck. 
Great job by James Haddock. It's sent into the bench, and this one's going to actually hit Coach Peter Arvinitis. 127 to go in the third period. There's not going to be any calls. There's been stick infractions. There's been some uh, checks that might have been questionable. There's been one penalty, one man advantage in this game. There aren't going to be any. You've got to just dig down, play hard right here. Timeout here. Let's see who's going to be charged that timeout. There's no better game than hockey either uh, for people that have to go out and you have to give it 45 seconds to 70 seconds of just your entire everything you've got all the energy you've got so if you let up a little bit you can pretty much guarantee the guy across from you he's given 100 percent until he comes off the ice and right here is where Arkansas needs the 100 percent from every man on the ice I'm sure Oklahoma will be uh, uh, pretty short to pull the goalie here and add to the attack 127 to go in the third period. Four to three lead by Arkansas. What a great homecoming weekend, eh? Here in Springdale, just uh, also known as North Fayetteville, where the uh, Razorbacks, I guess, won today on the football field. And we'll get another uh, another week of, uh, of our coach. <laughs> we're in Oklahoma leading Oklahoma State, so it's a it's a great day, and especially if you're uh, like me, you're an Oklahoma and Arkansas fan, it's a great day. And it's also a great day if you're a hockey fan here in Northwest Arkansas. Two great games put on display this weekend between these two teams. Arkansas also dropped a game uh, to Central Oklahoma that was a pretty good game for uh, most of the way. They lost that one 4-1. to one. Far side of the ice is where this faceoff will be taken. Brock Thompson gaining his focus back here after the timeout by Oklahoma. 1.27 to go, give you constant time updates as we go through this last minute and a half. Arkansas will get this puck. The goaltender of, for OU is well out of the net right now and he's gonna get off the ice. Six on five, empty net on the other end of the ice. Arkansas just wanting to gain control of the puck. Three OU players below the goal line. Gratisar gets it, fires it from his own end of the ice. Go! Lou Gratisar will seal the deal here at the Jones Center, 109 to play in this one. Nothing finer than a Luke Gratisar, what, 120 footer. He left no doubt. He had lots of time too. When you are uh, on the uh, six on five like that, you've got to get up and, uh, and, and get on the man. Gratisar had all the time in the world to turn, look, and uh, fired a pinpoint shot into the back of the net. Arkansas has just about sealed this one up. The hat trick for Luke Gratisar. And Arkansas takes a 5-3 lead. On down the ice, one, oh, one minute to play here. And now OU not going to clear out their net. They have accepted their fate here. It comes skipping into the zone. It's going to be Stovall to pick this one up. Stovall banks one off the boards looking for Haddock. They kind of want to get Haddock another goal as well, I'm sure. He's got two on the night. Only two goal scorers for Arkansas. They've been the difference. They're going to send a player to the box for interference. It's going to be Chris Stovall. There have been a lot of trips in this game. Stovall <laughs> tried to correct his call even. Stovall so skates to the box and he's like, hey, I cross-checked him. I didn't interfere with or, him. Or maybe he was saying he was cross-checked. Ah. Yeah, so I, I don't know that... Uh, you know, I'm, I, I, Stovall is one of my favorite players. I like the way he plays, but I'm not sure he's one who's going to say, no, no, I cross-checked. <laughs> I think he was saying I was cross-checked. Very possible there, but OU's going to have a power play here if they can get a quick goal. Might have an exciting end to this game. Lazard fires a shot, rebound out front, shoots, scores. What did we just say as Shepard puts it in the back of the net? Shepard from Centerville, Wisconsin. Finally gets on the board here for his team. Shepard has had a great weekend here. He's got wheels and he's got some stick skills and just as, uh, as you jinxed us with, they, uh, the quick goal by Oklahoma at 19-29. And uh, it's a game again. Maybe a chance though, uh, since uh, you're good at casting spells, I'll say that uh, Arkansas, if they can just get the puck to Haddock, maybe get a dual hat trick tonight. They've pulled the goalie again. Gonna bring Delisle out on the ice along with Gratisar and Brown. 
OU skates it into the zone. That's D'Souza. A huge hit laid on by Luke Gratisar. Oh, he can do it all. Back into the zone, though, OU, 20 seconds to go, working their way through, trying to clear the puck. This is going to be clear to side, quick shot. It's blocked down by Arkansas, near side boards. Gratisar trying to chase it down in the hip pocket here. Nine, 10 seconds to go in this game. Lazark just dumps it in. They needed a shot there. Foskey works it along the far side boards, down the ice. They're not going to blow this one dead as there are no OU players back. And that's the end of the game. D'Souza locking up over here with Cal Owens and Jesse Foskey goes hard to the ice. But Foskey's back to his feet and Arkansas will escape a winner tonight. Five to four is your final score. The fans on their feet and the Hogs fight song is playing. On your toes, Razorbacks to the finish. Some, uh, I guess, sketchy non-whistles there toward the end and then the one that you call. Uh, but obviously the officiating is not the best in the world, but they're, and I think they're even blowing the whistle. They're saying they're gonna that they did call They're going to put time back icing. on the clock. So we will get a face off. But uh, back on the, on the officiating, it, it's usually about like this and you kind of expect it. And I don't think it's uh, bad or good. It's just uh, how it is. And uh, some tempers flaring at the end, which will make the post-game handshakes a little bit more firm. So the icing was called. No clue how many Arkansas players were on, the, which Arkansas players were on the ice. 1.8. We know Foskey was on the ice. Foskey was out there. And that's a good thing for Arkansas, as long as we've got a good face-off man. Gratisar was out there. Brown yeah. was out there. Yeah. It's not like you're going to have a worry about being tired here you've got to play 1.8 seconds that's uh kick the puck into the corner the boards are your friends behind the net is your friend uh just get out of here quickly you see oklahoma with uh three uh well four forwards all lined up here right in front of the net uh somebody with a gray shirt wants to get a stick on it arkansas wanted to take the face off from a knee they're going to kick him out. Gratisar now to take it. They're just wanting to make sure that this puck gets played either to the corner or they can block the shot. Good job by Gratisar to win that one. And now it's over. And now some more mixing up after the whistle. Boy, Jesse Foskey doesn't want any of it. Jesse Foskey knocks a man to the ice. That's Giamana. I think that's the deal is Foskey does want some of it. They're going to ask him to uh, head on off the ice. Foskey with uh, a... Good solid game tonight for the Razorbacks. And Arkansas salvages a split this weekend with a five to four victory. Over the Oklahoma Center Sooners, both teams got their fifth week, fifth win of the season this weekend there, EJ. Yep, as they shake hands at center ice, as is customary, ACHA hockey. It was a great weekend for the Hogs, really. I mean, they could have had a win last night, had a two-goal lead entering the third period. They played hard against the defending national champion, Central Oklahoma, and it's all rewarded with a win here at the on the final game of the weekend set in Western Conference Hockey League play. Arkansas, as we said earlier, lost 4-1, to one, and you just saw steady improvement over the weekend. Every single period, it seemed like they got better. They had one collapse there last night in the third period, and it was only for a couple of minutes, and that was really the difference in that game. That's but other than that, mm -hmm. Arkansas had uh, was definitely put, uh, you know, continuing to gain momentum as they went through. And they'll salute to the crowd and head off the ice. Winners, they'll be back next weekend for Memorial Day weekend. They'll be playing Alabama. I'm sorry, Veterans Day weekend. My fault on that one, not Memorial Day, that's in May. But they'll be back for Veterans Day weekend as uh, the 11-11 game, the Saturday game is when we will be honoring our veterans. Uh, yeah, our veterans. That's uh, right. So uh, five to four here is the final score at the Jones Center in Springdale, Arkansas. For Rich Sanders and Quinn Shields, I am EJ Sanders signing off.